on the last time of this shit. I got 76 hunter by catching 40,000 babies. No, 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 not actual babies. Uh, this is just like a numbers genocide thingy. And once again, I was tried for crimes against humanity. But the judge would let me go if I finally recognized Denmark as a country. So that's why I'm making this from jail in this time of extreme one chunk Iron Man. Hello everybody, welcome back. Just starting up with some farming. I have a decent amount of seeds. And they are very valuable because they are very rare drops from Earth Imps. So I will stand next to the patch like a noob and see how they grow because if they die, I have a problem. Here we go, more wild bloods. I've planted a few and 32 farming. I have to say, these don't give uh, too much XP. Hey, Raynars. But uh, it's the only farming XP I can get, so I will have to make do. Let's see if I actually get something from this. Uh, death runes, chaos runes. Pretty decent. Also, <laughs> these are ready grew just at the right time let's note these bad boys they are beyond useless but i might as well keep them but because you never know maybe i need them for something but yeah let's get a little collection going all right so i went to puro for a hot minute and they're diseased so yeah uh, this proves that you have to stand next to it because otherwise things go very bad uh, let's cure these before they die yeah, and the day is saved. 33. These levels are very slow. Banana trees. Uh, I think I'll be 99 before I ever see a banana tree on this account. So, yeah, uh, all my fruit tree uh, seeds are useless. 77 Hunter, and I've been at this little spot where I can catch a lot of essence implings. Although, right now, it's not too efficient and actually highly annoying because. You see, I just keep missing these catches, and if you miss one, the impling is halfway across the map, and it just sucks. So, gonna have to go back to the drawing board. But let me actually explain what I'm doing right here. These are all the essence impling spawns in Pure Puro, and as you can see, there are only five, and most of them are quite far apart. Um, these three here are not usable when you're only doing essence implings because, yeah, they're just way too far apart from each other which only leaves these two uh, which can be caught because they're like at the same row so yeah I have to walk between these and along the way if I catch an earth impling or two that's just a nice bonus although I do have to bank because my inventory gets full of earth talismans but yeah I just run between these two but if I miss just one catch uh, they fly away and I have to get my alt and use Dark Lure to get them back, which takes time. And then I miss the other one, so that's just not too handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to train up Hunter even further. There isn't much information about the catch rate of Implinks, but there is this graph uh, on the RuneScape wiki where it shows that at level 93 you stop failing Eclectics, uh, which is 43 levels after you can catch them. So maybe the same slope of the graph applies to essence implings as well, as well as earth implings and all those other kinds. So if we do a little bit of digging around in the code of the graph on the RuneScape wiki, we get this. And we can see that at level 85, you stop failing. And at level 83, it should be around a 97% catch rate, uh, which is good enough for me. That means I'll won't be failing them that often. I'll be training on Eclectics because they have a really fast respawn rate and they're 30 XP, which is a lot compared to the 17 or so you get from Baby Imps. And they have also some nice rewards like Oak Planks and Gold Bars and that kind of stuff. So let's collect that. Uh, I won't go above 80, 83 because then I will overshoot my goal of 89 for Lucky Imps because I still need a lot of Essence Implings and um, earth implings so 83 will be what I'm going for and of course we can catch some nice little dragon imps at level 83 so let's go for it 
I've been elking the stuff I get from Eclectics, like Battle Staffs and Red Dragonite Fan Braces. And yeah, 85 magic. I'm getting a little bit of uh, magic XP. But it is costing me nature runes, and those are quite valuable. So yeah, I get some money and some magic XP, but I'm burning through my precious, precious nature runes. This should be it. Here we go. 78. These levels take a long time. Uh, this is better XP than baby imps. I get around 13k XP an hour, which is less than I hoped, but it is a lot more than baby imps, which is 9 uh, or 10k an hour. And this should be it. 79. Pretty nice level. Um, let's actually take a look at the totals. Uh, 10k Eclectics uh, goes pretty fast, a lot faster than the rest uh, compared to Essence Implings. Also almost 10,000 Essence. Yeah, they fly by very, very rarely, but when I see one, I often catch it. And here it goes. The big level 80. Uh, this allows me to have four traps or five traps. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, if only I had some traps, I could have caught like imps or something. Also, here you can see my Dark Lure alt. Uh, some people say it's scummy to use alts on an Iran. And they're probably right, but without it, it would be absolute hell. Well, lads, I've come to a decision. I'm gonna stack up eclectic impling jars in my bank until I get a thousand, and then I'm gonna do a medium clue scroll. Uh, at least one. I uh, really wanna do some mediums, uh, you know, for the elusive ranger boots or wizard boots or whatever, Timberlands, whatever boots, man. I just wanna get some good stuff and yeah, just do some clues on the account. I've done a lot of beginner clues, but those suck. <laughs> Pretty bad rewards, but medium clues can have some good stuff. I'm not really expecting to get anything, but it'll just be a little nice side mission to finally get some clues done. So I made a little clue map uh, to visualize how hard this is gonna be. I have eight steps that I can do, and there are like 200 possible steps, so it's uh, definitely a lot less hard than like doing one on Karamja or something, but still, but still it's gonna require a lot of effort and eclectic impling jars before I can actually do one. And here I have a thousand eclectic implings. This uh, <laughs> takes a lot of time to smuggle them into Puro. Uh, but once you find like the crop circle rotation, it's not that bad. Let me actually get my medium clue because I already have a step banked. Um, yeah, the slumber swamp step. And I have to drop this one and make sure that it doesn't despawn, which should be easy because I can just watch it. I have a little timer attached to him. Also another advantage of opening these like and then banking the loot is that I can actually get the Snape Corrals and you know, unicorn horns and gold ores and stuff like that, that I would normally drop. I can bank it now. So yeah, I get some uh, herb lore secondaries from that. That might be very handy in the future. So yeah, let's just see what we get. Uh, clue scroll. No. That's uh, not the right one. I'll just skip through this for you. And here we are, 500 uh, Eclectic Implings in, and we finally get the first step that I can actually do. Man, uh, I didn't... Well, I did expect it would be hard, but this is just ridiculous. Just 500 without a single step that I can actually do. Uh, hopefully I get at least another one because I need at least three to complete a medium clue scroll and maximum of five. So ideally I want to get like four, but yeah, it's understandable if that's not going to happen at this rate. <laughs> Here we go, this time it didn't take so long. Let's see if I can get one more step, then I can actually do the attempt. Here we are, four steps, that's that's great actually. Uh, it's the same step as the last one uh, in the desert mining camp. Uh, but this is good, I have a little less than 400 
Galactic's left, so uh, this went better than expected. Uh, I fully expected to get absolutely fucked with the uh, clue luck, but let me actually grab some runes and stuff and then we'll get to it. And here we go, the first medium clue attempt at the account. And let's see if we can get a clue in Lumbridge or something. No Caterpillar. Uh, I do need to keep this clue. I, make, I need to make sure that it doesn't despawn because then the step resets and I uh, have to do it again. So let's get another clue and let's see if we can complete this. All right, we're here. Let's dig this up. Let's see what kind of step we get. Valador, all right. Uh, that's not bad. We have two more clues left. Let's see what happens. Shit, I brought the wrong key. Oh no, this one's for the mines. Uh, let's get another one. Apparently I dropped it, so I have to kill this guy again uh, to get the key. Oh, it's in my inventory. Right, let's go. I have to be fast because maybe the clues are despawning. Oh, no, 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 don't catch me. Don't know if you can actually catch me, but... There, the casket, the casket. Let's get back. I still have one clue left. Three-step casket. That's not bad, actually. Uh, but let's get, collect the last one and see what we got. All right, here we go. First casket on the account. Come on. Do it. Go on. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's all right for medium clue. Uh, it's clipping out. Looks all right, though. It's just a cosmetic, but uh, I guess let's uh, let's go do this again because why not? I'm a masochist. But before we continue, this video is brought to you by Raycon. With Raycon earbuds, you can greatly enhance your listening experience with great quality while being half the price of other audio brands. They have been specifically modified through countless design iterations to seamlessly fit the curvature of the human ear, as well as including varying optimized gel tips for your comfort and security. Regardless if you're jogging or sitting, they will stay put. And Raycons are now more adaptable than ever, with a built-in mic that allows you to take calls with the push of a button and easy-to-use media controls. They are also compatible with both Siri and Alexa. And they include free audio profiles for you to customize to your listening experience. The Raycon earbuds are water resistant and have a 32 hour battery life. I personally use them because they aren't bulky and they have a great audio quality. But don't take just my word for it, because they have over 50,000 five-star reviews. To get some Raycons and support my channel, go to the link in the description down below, or buyraycon.com slash limpword, and get 15% off your order. Alright, collected another thousand implinks. Uh, took like five hours, six hours maybe. So let's see what we can get. Uh, let's drop this one, and... I need at least three steps, so let's get to it. Okay, so I've literally opened a thousand of these jars and I haven't gotten one step I could do. Guess I'm not only sexually frustrated anymore. Got these two ninjas here and it's trash. Come here, come on. Waiting. There you go. Oh, hang on. It's annoying and ah nice elk and another thousand done let's get to opening them and see if we can get some good stuff this time here we are four steps and around 250 left so let's get to it one two another three-step casket that's actually pretty lucky for uh, for me so yeah let's let's just go and see what's in it Okay, get me something good. Uh, uh, the ancient blessing is actually not too bad. Uh, maybe for during KQ or something, if I ever need to go back for a dragon pickaxe, because they did pull that. Uh, so yeah, uh, not the greatest. No boots or anything, but for second clue, not too bad. All right, here we go. Another thousand implinks. Uh, very good stuff. Uh, I hope that we get lucky this time and get something good. And there it is. South of Limbridge Swamp. Um, within 500 imps. That's actually never happened. Usually it takes uh, more imps, but 
this is great now we can actually try and uh, get this done and maybe get another clue done with the uh, remainder of the imps and we have another casket good another three step clue uh, getting pretty lucky on the step count all right show me the money come on uh, that that it's not great but I guess I'll uh, try again I still have like 500 imps left and a uh, leftover clue step from the last time so let's see if we can get actually get more steps and uh, try to do two for one well this is a problem I only managed to get uh, one more step so uh, I'm gonna try it but the chances of me getting another step from a clue is pretty low so yeah i'm just gonna try it and uh, maybe we'll get lucky right let's see ah uh, no well yeah it was worth a try would you look at that 20k eclectics already making some pretty good progress i would say i'm now gonna try something else i'm gonna actually uh clue juggle them here in puro so i'm not gonna collect the jars anymore because uh, that's a lot of work uh, running around but yeah that does mean I don't get the Herblor secondaries from the imps but yeah it's worth it because uh, it's a lot less walking around and just a little bit more chill it is gonna be uh, kind of annoying to get the clue scrolls out of here uh, which you'll see in a minute because you have to get to the overworld and just drop it and go uh, back and forth they did recently uh, change the mechanics of untradeable items so i can just hop with these clue scrolls to another world where there is a portal in lumbridge so that's good at least and they stay with me uh, this was kind of a process as you can see in the back i sped it up uh, like 30 times or so but yeah this uh, took some time and i actually got another doable clue that's pretty good i think um although i won't really be able to bring them back to puro but i guess we can see if we get another step uh, we can maybe do two runs if we get a, a three-step clue and yeah another three-step clue let's see if i can get another step and we can do another one ah that's close but i can't get there yet well that's a shame, but at least I got one casket, and uh, nope, <laughs> oh, that sucks. And here we are, 81, uh, training at the Eclectics is a lot faster than babies, let me tell you that. And here we are, I have enough clues again, I'm now 8,000 imps deep in this uh, little side grind, so this is going to be the last attempt, if we get a casket, it will be casket number five uh, let's hope I get something good but you never know uh, let's just see how it goes oh, come on last casket oh three-step casket again uh, which one was it this yeah that's is the right one all right let's see Ooh, <laughs> I did get an adamant pick that's like the best pick I have right now. So if I need to do some mining, I guess it's good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I guess I'll take my losses here. Uh, that's it for the clue scrolls. Uh, well, I guess that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it was a fun little side grind. You know, you need to keep it fresh for, uh, for yourself. At least I, uh, I need to. But yeah, I had fun. I hope you had too. And uh, I'll see you later. But thank you for watching. And a special thank you to... AKA Roommate, Luke, Gaming the Code Lar, Tyler Contrino, LP Kellner, The Akbars, Justin Lorty, Vapor, Atlas K, UIM Evan, AFK Over Efficiency, Andros, Adrian Windrunner, Snockball One, Rides, Love County, Unsliced, High Class Low Life 465, Dan Tilly, Loxins, Dynamite, Epic Duck, Penguin Meat, Josh Vallot, Blomkol, Anno Bartens, Drake Olsen, Erland Larsen, The Wayne, Anthony Mulieri, Hakurai Rimu, J Balls, Kurenai, Cam T, Sam, X2 Light, JVH92, Cardo Sivadi, Charles Kelman, 
Ipsnius, Apex Eternals, Renek, Brandon Nielsen, Kalis, Iron Wire, and Medical Spud, as well as Robert Potter, Nian Arrow, Zerno, Reese Bender, Eden Propovat, Marlena Turk, Ryan Lubert, Gabriel Wiggle, Wario Party, Matthew Saba, Ryan, my name Null, Dyer Albear, Hojo, Jared W, Shane Stewart, Jacob Padenade, Paul, Alex James Cross, Santu Panvanen, Miffy, Big Fella Matt, Robert Jellyman, Josh Nador, Dude892, Matt Fackerwell, Jacob Bradley, Mick Cohn, Philip Amaral, Kenny G, IPTN, Carter Alexander, Sane, John Old, Wino Wunsch, AK, Thor Dead Sake, Lil Chubby, Arden Sagan, Lexto, De Loza, AJP, The Lone Piggy, Sindra H, Martins, Two Stroke Thank You, Trey and Bildo K, G Money, Lux Flamea, Eastside SA, Anders OA Man, uh, White Monk, Mike Moran, Rocco, Visage Player Will, HAV, as well as the other patrons you can see on screen right now.